I'm gonna do a scar. Oh my goodness me, my hair. Ah. Hello. I'm coming on early so that you have plenty of time to um, get ready and come on for our call. So I turned my PC off so I wouldn't be distracted and now I don't know what the time is. Genius, genius, genius. Ta ta da 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 ta. Uh -huh. Oh, maybe you guys are. All oh, my double chins. 9.58. Ooh. Am I in the team page, Terry? Did I do this right? This is the question. Did I do this right? I got a two. Anybody else got two? Follow your dreams. There we go. Morning, afternoon, evening. Trish, Chantel, Anna, Jess, Brooke. Yo, yo, yo. Good evening. Yes. Hello, hello. It is the morning here. It is. Hello, Cheryl. Um, 9 a.m. Hi, Nick. Um, hi, Chantel. Uh, yeah, we've been doing our million dollar morning. Um, which do any of you know what million dollar morning is? I might explain that at the end. Um, so we've done our million dollar morning and I, by now I should be wide awake like this. Rah! Um, <laughs> I had a really bad night's sleep, so I'm fast asleep. Hello, Linda and Victoria and Scott. Hi, Scott. Hope you're not driving and uh, watching. Hi, Nikki. Cheryl, world premiere was amazing. That is exactly the feedback we want to hear. I uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I felt it was really more about the opportunity to bond with our team um, than potentially all the training we got. Um, but I did take so much home from the training as well. I love the ideas of like the beads, but getting the host of the party to give out the beads so you didn't feel forceful or awkward. I love the fact that the displays were really simple. Think of the displays we take to parties. We take everything with us, plus the kitchen sink. We take um, tables and tablecloths, and oh my goodness me, we are like pro at doing these events, aren't we? Um, and these guys, these rock stars of selling stuff, just turn up, they have kind of one of each different thing, and they just kind of display it within the customer's home. So, hi Linda, I thought that was amazing. I was just like blown away by that and thought, well, here is something I need to try because um, the girl that did the actual party, um, she is an absolute rock star. She does an awful lot of parties and she gets a lot of bookings from bookings. So there you go. So I thought, wowzers. So I did take away a lot. And you know, the other one I loved um, was the ticket game. Um, I'm just gonna find out what the time is. So I really, really loved the ticket game where they were kind of like, in order to like talk about what you do without being like, oh, hello, I'm talking about myself. Um, they played that amazing ticket game. Um, and I really, really loved that as well. Oh, hello, Jess and Kieran and Nikki and <laughs> Leslie. And if I haven't said hello to you, hello, hello. Hello, Miss Jess. It's lovely to see you on here. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't always do the training calls. But it is um, one of my things to start doing them now. So um, let me. I wanted to show you my other book, my order book, didn't I? Oh well, we'll hang on. We'll go and get my order book. One second. I should play music, shouldn't I, while I'm doing this? Hang on. Where's my book? Where's my book? Is this my book of names? Yes. Hello again. Ah, I'm back. So, there we go. So, yeah, I thought the training was amazing. Yes, it was. What was the ticket game? We can talk about that at the end, Linda. Um, and we can talk about it on the team page because um, intermission, that was an intermission, yes. Um, hi, Matthew. Um, yeah, we can talk about that at the end, Linda, because um, it came from the World Tour training, World Premiere. Did you go to World Premiere? Bonjour, comment ça va, Amy? Amy is our rock star in France. Hello. Okay, so shall we kick off with some training? Where's the Jaffas? I don't. 
I hope you eat the Jaffa cakes. <laughs> Love it, Nikki. Okay, I am not going to read any more of your messages now. I'm going to... There we go. Um, I will say hi, and we can do some Q&A at the end if you guys like. So, I came on to talk about five top ways to rock your sales in February. Now... You might sit here and be expecting to hear kind of absolute gems and be like, um, she's going to give us, you know, some serious gold that we've never ever heard before. Um, that might not actually be the case, but these might be things that you have, you know, inside yourself, um, but you're just not actioning. You procrastinate on them because you feel stressed or concerned about your business. Some people do. Um, when we faff around and we do other things, it's not because we can't do the things or we don't want to do the things. I've discovered from Mel Robbins that it's because we're stressed about the things. We're stressed about things in the background. So work out what stresses you and then stop procrastinating and do your job. So first one, and this is only my top five, know and promote your offers. Know and promote your offers. How simple, how easy is that one? And yet I am still getting messages and I'm sure other people are as leaders. Um, is it 10% off in February? Is it 10% off on everything? What's this diffuser deal? Did you know there was a diffuser deal? No, I hadn't seen there was a diffuser deal. It's the 6th, 6th, 6th of February. We should know our deals. I appreciate since you're not now giving us deals until the very end of the month. But seriously, it only takes a few minutes to read the deals. If you know your catalog inside out and know what you're selling, and I always say this to my newbies, your best reading material should be your catalog. I can open the catalog and still find stuff nearly six months later and be like, oh, there's that did you know thing and that, you know? So know and promote your offers now. So go to the news tab, get your emails from Sensi, know your offers inside out. Promoting your offers. How can you promote your offers? You can do a text out to your customers. A really good way. You can do a newsletter. I do one every single month. You can do an email shop, which is a very simple way. You can do a flyer. You could make a poster. You can stick it on buy sell boards. You can stick it on your group. You can stick it on your page. You should be promoting it um, on your profile. Now, why your profile and why not just your group or your page? Because you want to live what you do. Other people live what they do all the time, mainly in negative posts like, oh, I had to go to work or oh, such and such said such and such to me while I was on the way to work, in work, on the way home again. You know what? You're selling positivity. You're selling happiness. You're selling something awesome. So I would say one product placement post, one, oh my goodness me, I can't believe I just got these free oils with my diffuser. Be smart about how you promote, but promote on your profile. I'm stunned at the number of consultants who promote other people's competitions and other people's pages and other people's, if you um, share and like this, then I will not give you that. But I will tell you, I'm going to give it you. And yeah, I can scroll, 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 scroll. I see nothing. I see nothing on their page. And I'm like, guys, you're promoting everybody else and not yourself. Do you think Tesco does that or Waitrose or, or Walmart? No, they're all about, this is what I do. So know and promote your offers. And try and do it daily. Some of you are hobby sellers. But a lot of you are really serious about your business. And so your promotions should be daily. If you can come up with a promotions calendar. I have one. I know which day I've got to do my newsletter. I know which day I've got to do my text outs. I know, um, you know which day I've got to do all of the different things during the month in order to drive my sales. Okay? Number two. And this is my absolute top tip for February. Sell diffusers. Diffusers make us 130 PRV in a normal month, and they're going to make us 107, 717, is it? Yeah, this month. Largest single thing you make any PRV on. Yay! So we need to promote it a lot to everybody. Because it's an amazing, amazing, amazing deal. Tell people in one advert how much they're saving. Tell people in another 
uh, advert how much those oils are worth. <laughs> Tell people in another advert how amazing the product is. Um, do a live with it. Do a live with the oils. Um, show off all the different diffuser covers that you've got. There are so many different things you can do. And, uh, you know, in that promoting your offers, live is the way to go. If you guys saw my live the other day, I overfilled the pot with the water in and drank it out. You know what? It's different. Everybody loved it and it got shared everywhere because I'm a bit of a dork. But I don't mind. Um, I have people interested in buying. So really promote the diffuser deal. One thing I will say to you is for a long time, I was a little caught up in the price of the diffusers. And I would kind of go, just God, no one's going to buy these. They're so expensive. I love them, but they're a bit expensive. And Scott was like, well, you're not going to sell any with that attitude because we know what he's like. He's a very straight talker. So I went to a girl who sells a lot of diffusers and I said, Linda, how are you selling all these diffusers? And she says, well, I look at it this way. Your GHD uh, hair straighteners cost a hundred and no, 225 pounds sterling and you get a three month warranty. And everybody wants to buy them and everybody wants to use them because they're really good quality. So whenever, whenever anybody looks at my diffusers, I just say, well, these are the same quality as GHD, but you get a lifetime warranty and it's only 144 quid. Lo and behold, they are walking out the door for Linda. She believes in the product. She's found a great way to illustrate to people the value of what they are getting. She majors on the lifetime warranty and she gives people a very clever way to equate the quality of the product everybody and i imagine in australia and new zealand and other places you know um that a ghd is a very quality product if it doesn't work for you guys if it's not the kind of benchmark then find another product that is very sought after um and people like and and use that and go well you know this product only has a three month warranty but it's really awesome but this diffuser has a lifetime warranty and it's a lot cheaper so yeah number two on my have a rock in february if you sell diffusers people will see the diffusers people will want to buy the diffusers they won't be able to afford them maybe so they want to book parties so this is going to bring you ongoing business for the rest of the year the diffusers you sell today mean you eat tomorrow it is an amazing, amazing, amazing offer. So if all you do is promote diffusers all month and flog them like crazy, you will do really, really well. Number three, my favorite. The fortune is in the follow-up. Uh, Scott and I were out for dinner the other night and uh, we met somebody who sells houses and they were very much of the same mind that the fortune is in the follow-up. It's in contacting your customers back it's in contacting your leads back you know i have um people who are interested in the diffusers i'm talking to them once a week to find out you know are you ready to make a purchase yet yeah, have you picked out the one you want um it's all about following up with your customers don't see it as annoying your customers see it as um great customer service because surprisingly while sensi is the most important thing in your life it isn't in their lives they're very very busy and they run out of wax or they run out of oil or they need a christmas present or a birthday present whatever they need and they think i must contact my sensi man sensi woman and then they don't it goes on the long finger and it just doesn't happen so if you follow up with them you can prompt the buying behavior it's really simple I like to follow up with either a Facebook message or a phone call. Those two really, really work for me. The more personal you can get, the easier it is to get um, another sale. Now, how often should you follow up? Well, when a customer gets a product, you should follow up within two days of them getting the product. Check they understand how it works. Check they're happy with the products and let them know that you will... Um, be calling them back in the next month to give them a special offer to get them to come back and purchase more from you. You don't have to do a special offer, but you know what? If you say special offer, people go, yes, I'd love you to contact me um, because they're getting something. It's the nature of if you give something, you get something back. Um, some people say contact in two weeks. I don't. Everybody's contact system is different. So you can Google follow-up systems for Sensi, 
how often should I talk to my customers at Sensi? You know, you can do that. Um, you can do your own research. And on your training tab, you will find there's lots of stuff as well. So I contact them back in a month and I say, oh, do you remember you really like that clothes line? And you bought like six bars of it. Well, guess what? And I'll be able to say this in March. It's now available in washing products. So you know what? If you order with me this month, I'm going to give you 10% off those washing products. And what I'll do is I'll just use my half price of my free stuff and I'll buy it in and I'll still make money on it. And I've got a customer that now uses bars and washing stuff. So the more stuff you get them hooked on, the more reasons you've got to go back and have a chat. When you finish your conversation, you just say, I'm going to check back with you in another six weeks. And I'm just going to see if you need a top up on your bars um, and how that washing stuff is going as well. But please remember, in the meantime, should you need anything or you want to have a party, then you can contact me and we can discuss that. So always leave it open ended. Let them know there'll be some more contact, but let them know you can come to me as well. To help with your follow-up, I'm looking to move to an actual physical sales system. I'm looking into a few at the moment. But this is my book at the moment, and I've shown this book on so many different meetings. So these are my June potential customers, recontacted. July potential customers with notes all over them. Um, of February, November. And then these are people who bought. So they all link backwards. So it's an ongoing, so this is my book. Beauty of the book travels everywhere with me. I can always keep up to date on where I am with my business. Do you have a book? Do you log your sales? In the back are all my sales and in the front are all my contacts. So these books are absolutely gold. And once you start to put things to paper, you find it really concentrates your mind. I know other people have folders and they have like, they move the papers back one week. One month, two months, etc. Find a system that works for you and work it. So that's my number three. If you want to make money in February, go follow up with all your customers. It's a brilliant one. Number four, new customers. I want to see lots of new customers. I've put here that you should aim for a minimum five new customers every single month. The same way if you're a team builder, we want to see two to five to ten customers coming through. You're waving your hands at me, Mr. Scott. Five new recruits a month. Five new recruits a month, says the boss. Um, I would say, and it, to be honest, this is on my low side. A minimum five new customers. A minimum one per week. Can you do that? Because if you do one per week, you're going to add 52 customers. Hang on, I need a drink. <sighs> Tea. Um... Sorry, people messaging me. Um, you're going to add 52 new customers. Now, imagine, um, and I've had this, I have a great customer called Lisa, and she buys from me once a month. Aren't I a lucky girl? Um, and now she's brought her sister and her friend Sandra, and they've both bought from me. So that one customer developed into two more customers. And Sandra is currently working out how that she can get her sister in to buy the products as well. She thinks she should give something for a birthday, then she'll have another customer. So you see, one customer can become more customers. I have another customer, um, Rani, bought from me um, just before Christmas in Spain, is now having a party. How amazing is that? Is now having a party. So she's going to introduce me to, I'm hoping, 10 more customers. So one customer per week can, or five customers a month can actually replicate into many, many, many more customers. How do you get customers? You spread the word. You advertise. You give out samples to everyone, everywhere. Put your details on. Try and ask them for their details. Best way to do that is to say, hey, I've given you that and it has my details on. Would you like to give me your email or your mobile? And then I can send you my monthly offer. I'm only going to contact you once a month. They'll say yes or they'll say no. Either way, you're cool with it. You've done what you had to do. You've worked your business. Um, how can you get new customers? Parties are your biggest one. You're going to have a captive audience. Um... And if you do it in the right way, you're going to excite them about the product because you're sharing your passion. Um, it's not the telling that does the selling, it's the sharing. Um, referrals. 
run a referrals and reward program. I give a free bar to everybody who refers a customer to me who then goes on and spends over 50 pounds. You know, I make it so that if they buy, so the friends are working on them in the background. Hey, you should buy this, you should buy this. Um, loaning out borrow bags. It's a fantastic way to get new customers. Melissa Humphreys, she says pretty much if the only borrow bag she gets back where they have not ordered is the ones where they've never plugged it in. So that shows if they try it, they buy it. I like to do a little discount on the warmers that are in my bags because they're now used. So I just give 10% off, but most of my warmers that are borrow bags are bought with half prices or bought for free anyway. So again, make your money. Use your smarts. Um, so that is my number four. Bring in new customers. They are your lifeblood. It is your job to constantly develop and build the customer list. That is what my big list is in that book. You can see all the potential new people that we had in June. And then look at July. Wow. Because you know what? In July, I went back through all my customer database and I added everybody back and I contacted everybody. Every single person. It took me all month. But you know what? I sold 2,500 PRV and I also earned this level three incentive. So it was worth it. I worked it and it was worth it. Finally, number five, because we're rounding up to give Mr. Scott an opportunity to come and say, well, hey, well done, congratulations to our awesome people. Party like a pro. This is a party plan business. And when I say party, I would really like you to party with other human beings being present in the room, wherever possible. Be it one-to-one, -one, be it a sip and sniff, I don't care where you do it, but do try and do it in person. Do actually try and plug in the product in front of someone and have them come and sniff the products. Because when you have people present and there and experiencing the product, the sales will always be higher. If you are doing Facebook parties, use the live function. The girls that are going live to do parties or doing little snippet videos are again seeing much more being sold. When you are doing your parties, we have a new um, party. I don't even know what it's called. It's, what's it called from Sensi Scott? Party with a Purpose. Now, that's, that's a new training we'll talk about in a few weeks' time, Party with a Purpose. No, that thing that is on the computer ordering thing. I know you're all screaming now going, it's called such and such. Anybody, what is it called? That new party thing that Sensi have given us. It's an event thing. It's a party event thing. Party on your website. Party on your website. The party page. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, Wanda. You are a lifesaver. The party page. It is on your website. Um, when you get customers, and we were trained on how to use this at um, Premiere, and the training is going to be released. But basically, when you get a customer um, having a party, find out what their wish list is put their wish list up on the party page, use it so the customer can promote the party to their friends. People can do the, the fun um, fragrance quiz before they come to the party. So you can say to people, hey, did you do the fragrance quiz? Oh, you're into citruses. Here's all the citrusy smells. So you can really use it to work your business hugely effectively. So use that party page, yay! Um, so that is it from me. I've given you five top tips. They are, know and promote your products number two sell those diffusers gonna make you the most money in the least amount of time and gonna bring you such great sales in the coming year fortune is in the follow-up number three seriously guys if you're not following up with your customers or following through as the Americans say which makes me giggle um, you are you are just throwing your business away to the likes of Scott and I and other people with high internet presence because they're just going to find us on an internet search. So stop me getting the business. You get the business by working it. Number four, new customers are your lifeblood. The same way you get excitement and you get um, a buzz out of new consultants who are really excited for the business. It's the same with new customers. Bring them in. Millions of ways to do it. And the best one is to talk about what you do, where you're branding. Give out samples. It's not rocket science. You just have to get out there. Finally, 
party like a pro. Use the party page, party, party, party. Do it as live as is humanly possible because we are a party plan business. We're not a multi-level marketing company. We're all about sitting around and sniffing the sniffs. So that's it from me. I do hope my tips help. I hope you have a rock in February. I can tell you the results so far indicate that we are having an amazing, it is the best February we've had in six years. And um, you guys are set to at least double what we did last year. And that shows you're all rock stars and people love the products. So there you go. Are you coming on or what? I'm a bit shy. Are you a bit shy? Do you want the comments on? I'll put the comments back. But if you want to get rid of me, do that. Okay, boss. Okay. Bye, cheeky, cheeky, cheekies. Follow through the finish line. <laughs> like, well, thanks, Amy. I'm going to giggle now. <laughs> Have you noticed when I, if I do a live call and Alexandra comes in halfway through that normally the kettle goes on and various other things kind of like come on to try and distract me? But I must admit that's... Uh, whoa, that has been messy this morning. I've done the school and I've gone out with my hair like I've been electrocuted. Never mind. Um, awesome tips out from Alexandra, I'm sure. I, even though I didn't get to listen to the call, I, um, we went through some tips yesterday. And I'm not just saying this, I'm not being biased, and I know she probably, I know she always play it down, but from watching Alexandra over the last, like, 11 years since I've known her, she is a real good saleswoman. She never believes that she is, but she actually is, and she is really good at building relationships and building sales. So if anybody needs any tips, just ask Alexandra anytime. So anyway, enough of me rambling on here. I am going to do the top 10 in sales and the top 10 in recruits. Now, I think there might be an update due in 10 minutes, but I'm going to stick with what I have in front of me. And we have a various of different countries on the top 10 today, which is really, really cool. So let's get it started. We have France Saint Ong, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. With 845 PRV in the first six days in Canada. Congratulations. We have Erin McCann in Queensland, Australia. Congratulations. We have Linda Taylor in Australia with uh, 563 PRV. Congratulations. We have Callie Reardon in Australia. Congratulations. We have Nat Goodwin in Australia. Congratulations. We have Amy Osborne. Mish? Mish. 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 Give me a thumbs up if I got that right if you're watching. Mish. <laughs> Because I'm going to have to learn that. Because I've got a funny feeling I'm going to be saying that name a lot this year. Um, Lee Consultant in France. Um, congratulations. We have Jennifer Hall Burton, Star Consultant in Australia. And then we have Rose Joblin, Certified Consultant in Taranaki, New Zealand. Yay. We have Jade Perrette, who is a Certified Consultant in Queensland, Australia. And then we have Martina Wright, who's a Lead Consultant in Ireland. So Yay. congratulations, guys. Amy is on the call. It's me ish. Me ish. Mish, mish, mish. Mouse. So let's go over to the new recruits, okay? And you guys are cranking it. 33 recruits in six days, guys. That is awesome work. And you know something? I won't be able to do this next week because there's far too many. There'll probably be far too many to announce. But I'm going to announce every single person who has recruited this month. So top recruiters so far are me and Alexandra Woo! with three recruits. <laughs> And then we have joint top, we have Carly Bartle with three recruits, congratulations. And then we have Brianna Mitchell, um, who's really cranking her business at the minute, a new star consultant with two recruits. We have, pardon if I say your name wrong, okay, but um, I am trying my best. We have Melissa Dever uh, in TS, I think that's New Zealand maybe, I don't know. We have one recruit. We have Deb Pilgrim in Australia with one recruit. We have Angela Berher in um, Queensland, Australia with one recruit. We have Stacey Vukoja in Queensland with one recruit. We have Nicole Simon in Queensland with one, one recruit. Queensland are rocking it. We have Julie Ann Jensen in Queensland with one recruit. We have Melissa Lua Pepper in New South Wales with one recruit. We have Angela. Broderin in Queensland with one recruit. We have Catherine Reynolds in Queensland with one recruit. We have Lee Davis in Wellington with one recruit. We have Rebecca Reed in Taranaki, New Zealand with one recruit. We have Casey Hunt in Taranaki, New Zealand with one recruit. We have Amy Spencer in Taranaki, New Zealand with one recruit. 
We have Christina Aitkinson in Wellington with one recruit. We have the Bogans, Andrew and Roxy Gamble in Western Australia with one recruit. We have Martina Yanu in New Zealand with one recruit. We have Pamela Morrow in Western Australia with one recruit. We have Alison Thompson in Essex in the UK with one recruit. We have Danica Cass, Cass Toge with one recruit. Danica knows that I can't Just say her Danica. name. Just say Danica. Danica with one recruit. We have Jessica. Oh, these French Canadians, I find it really hard. Just say Jessica. Jessica Guadrolch <laughs> with one recruit. We oh, have dear. in Canada, we have Kimberly Egbert in, I think in Canada too, with one recruit. We have Fiona McGuinness in Ireland with one recruit. We have Lisa Tosh. And finally, we have Lisa Tosh in the, in, in the UK, in Coleraine, with one recruit. So awesome work, guys. Do they get a clap? Do you get a massive clap? <laughs> So, I think I deserve a massive clap for pronouncing 31 names. Bad. Really wrong. Um, so, unfortunately, I probably won't be able to do that next week because I would be here all day. But congratulations, guys. And every single one of you, I want you to keep sharing the awesome opportunity. It's a great recruiting month. It's my favorite super-sized kit. And, you know, look, look I never I did this when you were on. I just look, I brushed my hair now. <laughs> Alexandra is a massive attention seeker. I'd just like to confirm. <laughs> At all. I'm just going to say goodbye to everyone. So I want you to, I can't see. if you thought the um, the call was useful, I want you to tag in your teams below. Um, if you didn't think it useful, still tag your team in. And come come to me with all the complaints so I can go ha ha ha. I'm only joking. No complaints, please. Yeah, we won't be sending a feedback form. <laughs> no feedback forms on this call. And next week, um, it'll either be me, it'll either be Alexandra, or we might have a special guest. Why? Right, have you got somebody planned? I got someone in the team plan. We're going to bring some outsiders of the team plan in, but we're going to have to do that differently. But next week, we might have a team me doing the call. You guys should tell us who do you want to hear from, because I know you guys don't just watch our YouTubes, and I know you guys like to like um, aspire to be like lots of different people, and you never know. Scott and I might be able to pull a string or two. Yeah. And um, have some of your favorite rock stars maybe come on and do lives or record videos for and you. And I know a few people out there on other teams owe us a favor, even though we don't do things to get stuff in return. But I know a few people we've done calls for might come and do a call. So we're going to sort that out anyway. Yes. But next week's live might be another team member. Okay? We will see. We will see. So have a great week. Keep sharing the awesome opportunity. Keep selling those diffusers. Sell the diffusers. And we will see you guys very soon. Okay? Ciao. Hasta luego, amigos. Bye, guys.